Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we shall see my top features of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Now, I think some of the settings that you may be already aware of, but still watch the full video. You'll get some interesting settings. You'll get to know about that and hopefully it helps you. And I hope you will use that more often than not. So let's look at the features now. The first setting, the first feature I would call and I would show you is the use of quick ball. Now, how you can use the quick ball inside the Redmi Note 5? Now you may be knowing about the quick ball which is a quick toggle setting basically uh, you can access quick shortcuts quick menus using that button now let's take a look at that how you can customize it so you have to go to the settings obviously so once you are in the setting you navigate to additional settings here and inside the additional settings you find the quick ball now there are a couple of tweakings that you need to do here just turn on this quick ball as you can see already there is a slight curve here which enables this quick ball which you can utilize it now here you see the select shortcuts now i have set home menu lock screenshot and clear cache because you see sometimes what happens is if your mobile is getting stuck and you want to quickly clear all the cache memory then you can very quickly do that just bring the quick ball and tap on this button and here you can see it is already clearing the cache memory now it has released 134 mb so this way it really helps you quickly toggle to various settings now you can actually arrange this you can change the shortcuts say that you want to quickly switch on the mobile data then you can do that you can just tap on this and you can assign that button you can assign uh, instead of screenshot you can assign it as rotate off instead of lock you can just basically uh, tap the torch so for example if you bring the quick quick ball like this from here you just tap on and just tap this and your torch will be on so very very quickly you can bring down the settings you can access the settings from here so this is how you can utilize the quick ball and there are several other things that you can do with see you have the preferred gesture if you want to tap and bring that you can do that now that's what you can do and even you can enable that on lock screen so that whenever you are on the lock screen you can still access that for example say that now i am on the lock screen here i can get that quick toggle and i can switch on the torch so the second setting we'll be looking at is again in the additional settings and this time it is about the buttons and gestures if you go to the additional settings you will find the button and gesture shortcuts now here you see xiaomi has given you a very nice very detailed layout where you can choose to whatever button selection you want for example if you want to access camera if you want to quickly launch the camera by double pressing the power button you can select that as you can see launch camera how you want to launch the camera instantly you can choose from the various options available here so this way it is really helpful and really useful for example if you want to launch the camera quickly by double pressing the power button you just select that otherwise power plus home combo button that is what you can do even even you can uh, select to none talking of the gesture as you can see take a screenshot slide three fingers down you can change that actually if you don't want to do that way you can change that long press the home button to take the screenshot instantly so you can do that turn on the torch long press menu on the home screen so you can do that turn off the screen see for example uh, in whatever screen mode you are while working on the mobile phone in if you instantly want to turn off the screen or lock the screen say you can just assign anything here so if i press this and long press the home button so for example right now i'm doing something here if i just press long press the home button boom there you go the phone is locked so this way you can assign the buttons and the gestures so i think this is really handy and really helpful according to your preference you can do that close current application you can set a shortcut to close the current application instantly so this way all the gestures works really well so xiaomi has given you very detailed settings that you can utilize for this is the second feature that we have looked so far the third setting that i'm going to talk about is changing default home screen now launchers you know that third party launchers and i think xiaomi has given you plenty of themes so that you don't have to again install the third party launcher but still if you are using third party launcher and how you can quickly set that as default is so inside this setting you just tap on home screens and recent here you see default home screen now from here you can actually 
change the launcher now it is set to system launcher if you want to make microsoft launcher as default you can just do that otherwise even if you install the launcher third party launcher there itself it will ask if it wants to change it as a default so i just wanted to show you from where if you want to manually change the launcher to whatever you like so this is how you change So the fourth setting that I'm going to show you is inside the lock screen and password. So settings, we go to the settings here again, we go to the lock screen and password. Now, as you know, lock screen and password is dedicated to uh, all sorts of security feature. For example, if you want to add your fingerprint scanner, so you can do that. You can add your fingerprints there for uh, maybe for application and maybe for other things. Uh, and also you can set the password and do such things. But one thing that I would like to show you here is how to set the lock screen for example set screen lock is here and if i confirm the pattern once again so now most of the times what you do is usually if i lock the screen and if i want to unlock the screen so if i just so so far this is very simple pattern that i have set to show you suppose if i just swipe like this if i select the pattern what happens is it usually shows you the pattern for example if i make it visible you will know it better so just if i do like this as you can see it is showing me what type of pattern i am drawing there in order to unlock the device but even if you want to hide that pattern you can just make pattern visible you just disable this and next time uh, say that you are in the middle of uh, somewhere and if you don't want to show them what say your pattern you can just see now you don't see the pattern that i am drawing there so that will be disabled a very little nice trick that they have given you another thing is to skip lock screen if you don't want to go just uh, have the lock screen you can uh, easily straight away skip the lock screen as well so that you don't receive any notification and other settings on the lock screen so whenever you unlock the device you will directly be on the home screen so this is one of the trick that i wanted to show you so if you don't want lock screen at all you can just straight away go to the home screen by unlocking with your pattern or password even if you just use your fingerprint you will be directly on the home screen and there is one other thing that i want to show you is if you go to the advanced settings here and if you are on the lock screen you can basically choose what notification you want to be enabled on the lock screen so if you don't want to see particular applications and notification then you can completely disable that so you have the choice of see hide sensitive notification content show all notification content don't show notifications at all so you can basically manage the notification on how it shows on the lock screen So the next setting next feature that i'm going to talk about is inside the camera now as usual as you know how the camera works on the redmi note 5 i'll make several videos so stay subscribed now if i just uh, turn on the camera now this is the typical user interface of the camera as you guys know there's nothing much to do here but when you go to the options you know that there are several scene modes and such things but one interesting thing that i will show you and if you just tap on the settings here now as you can see there are uh, plenty of features here i think even if you know this just scroll up like this and here are the important settings that you should be knowing about the first one is the contrast so if you if you are seeing that there is a slight reduce in the contrast in your pictures you can make it high you can keep it higher so i would suggest you to keep the contrast a little bit low and increase the saturation to high that way your pictures look really well this is how i have tested and stay tuned i'll be making a manual settings video of this how you can get the best out of this redmi note 5 pictures so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel now as you can see here this is the contrast so like i said you keep it to low and the saturation keep it to high and you can even customize the sharpness which is really awesome and it really works as well guys so if you ask me i would recommend you to keep the sharpness at just high not higher not highest not even low not normal you keep it to high and next time when you take pictures you observe the pictures how awesome it looks So the next setting is again in the camera settings itself so auto exposure settings now what it does is it is basically a metering method for example say that there is only one person or say you are capturing a flower what you can do is to set this metering to spot metering and you take the pictures and let me know in the comments how it changes your pictures so it uh, really gives you depth of field and uh, you can actually control the depth of field using the spot metering and take awesome images 
on your redmi note 5 so this is one setting that is missing in most of the smartphones today even if you buy 40,000 rupees mobile you won't have this metering method because it automatically uh, meters itself so this is where it gets really interesting guys so now you know that if you want to capture single subject you use the spot metering if you want to capture uh, images with centered average you know what center weight average in the sense the word itself speaks so you can use that center weight otherwise say that you have plenty of persons or you are capturing landscape and you want sharp images you set to frame average that way you get really good images so this is one trick in the camera settings that i wanted to talk about And the next setting that we'll be looking at is inside the security. So inside this security, what you have is the app lock feature. Now you may be aware of this app lock feature, but still I will show you a couple of settings inside this. Now app lock doesn't hide the application, but it locks the application. So whenever you open the application, you have to use this fingerprint scanner or the pattern password you have set. Now how you can do is uh, say that I want to lock the YouTube application, you just enable it. And if you go to the settings here, here's where everything gets interesting. Just look at this. So inside this lock setting, what you can set is when device is locked or after exiting the app. That means say that you have opened any application with your fingerprint scanner and as soon as you take back that application exit that application again it locks itself so that way you can set it here if you don't want to lock that app until you lock the device you can use the when device is locked so this way you can customize and whenever say that if i open the youtube now let's quickly open the youtube app now it asks for the fingerprint reader otherwise it asks for the pattern so once i give the pattern only then it starts the application now what happens is now i have again taken back now if i again launch it will ask me the password so only this happens when you set when device is locked or after exiting the app only when you set this it will work so change password you can change the password unlock with fingerprint show pattern hide content so you can hide the notification content of that particular application so the app won't be hidden but still you can hide the notifications of that particular application so that's a very handy feature so the last feature that we will be looking at is about the full screen gestures so as you know that there are three shortcut keys which we usually use to take back or to the recent application or to go home now what you can do is here you can actually use the gesture so it is a very nice they have implemented and to do that you have to go to the settings and here you find the full screen display so inside the full screen display you have full screen gestures it take a little bit of getting used to it but i think it they have uh, laid out very simply so just to use the full screen gestures and now if you tap on this learn here you can actually learn it will tell you what are the thing you need to do so if i just swipe up it will go back and the next tutorial will be if i swipe up and hold back you will go to the recent app so you can do that and if i swipe from right you will go just back so you can take back so these are the shortcuts you can do swipe left from the edge so again you go back so this way you can learn and you can enable the full screen gesture which comes handy i think you can utilize the full screen here so these are the settings that, that i wanted to talk about in this video uh, hopefully you like this video guys hit that like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content let me know in the comments below what do you think of this video and see you all in another one until then take care everyone bye bye